Crashing over the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we're going to meet two animals from the brush lands of Africa. Africa. The warthog and the baboon. And then, after the show, we are going to take a vacation. Oh, yes, that's right. We're going to follow the warthog and the baboon back home and visit the brush lands. No, we're not, Jake. We're going to the skunk theme park, the stinkiest place on Earth, Smelly World. Smelly World? Yeah, you'll love it. They've got a smelly go around. Stink Mountain, it's a smell world. No, 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 Stinky. I, I would like to go to the brushlands. You see, they've got thorn bushes and grassy plains and thin forests. No, smelly world. Brushlands. The smelly world. Brushlands. Smelly world. No, no. And no, no. now it's time, Fit. That's amazing. Today, let's look at an animal that's even stranger looking than the warthog. Woo. Oh, you, you must mean my cousin Morty. He, he has the weirdest beak I've ever seen. No, Armstrong. <laughs> huh? I mean the babirusa, a primitive wild pig from Asia. Woo, cousin Morty's got nothing on his guy, stranger Emma. The Babarusa has a small head that ends in a point and hairy grayish brown skin. Okay. It lives in forests and swamplands and loves to wallow and swim. Ain't not unlike Morty. The Babi Rusa. Another animal that'll make you and your cousin Morty see. <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> Smelly world. Brushland. Smelly Stinky, world. Stinky, we have to stop this. Oh, all right. <sighs> Smelly world. <sighs> Stinky, just give me a chance to convince you that the brushlands are a great place for us to visit. Oh, all right, Jake. But you'll never convince me. No, oh, maybe our first guest can help. And here he is, all the way from Africa. Africa. Warren the Warthog. Hello, boys. It's good to be here. It's good to be anywhere, except a beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little warthog oh, joke. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming, Warren. I know how much you hate to leave the brushland. I'd certainly do. It's the best place there is, if you ask me. Well, I'm asking. What's so great about it? What's so great? Mm -hmm. You are pulling my snout. Look, I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh. you brought tape? Yeah. Mm. Good. Mm. Whoa. Now, look at that. Isn't oh. that beautiful? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It does look very nice. But why do they call it the brushland? I don't see any brushes. Well, this part of Africa is called the brushlands because there are very few trees, lots of grass, and plenty of low, scruffy brush. Yeah, and lots of mud, too. Oh, I love mud. Hey, I love mud, too. Well, if you love mud, you should come visit us warthogs, Stinky. Now, why do warthogs like mud so much? Jay, they like it because it's fun. Well, okay. they certainly do, but we also like mud because it keeps us cool in the hot African sun. Well, wait a minute, what's, what's this warthog here doing? That's my neighbor, Wally. Now, he's got an itch, so he's scrunching down to scratch himself on that rock. Go for it, Wally. You may not have noticed, but we warthogs have short legs and thick necks, and that makes it tough to scratch an itch or, or even to dig around for food. Is that what this warthog is doing? Yeah, that's my nephew, Wendell. He sniffs around, then he uses his snap to dig out today's dinner. We warthogs have a very good sense of smell. Mm, in which case, you probably wouldn't want to be too close to uh, Stinky. Uh, <laughs> tell us, Warren, what kind of food is there to eat in the brushlands? At Smelly World, they serve Limburger a la mode. Ugh. No, we warthogs don't go for anything quite that fancy. We mostly eat grass, fruits and berries, and if there's not much of that, we dig up roots or scavenge old animal carcasses. Ugh, I'll stick to Limburger. Warthogs need to keep eating if we want to grow up big and strong, like my friend Wilbur here. Well, how big do warthogs get? A full-grown male warthog is about five feet long, two feet high, and can weigh as much as 200 pounds. Wow! Now, we may not look too speedy, but when we get running, we can go up to 30 miles an hour. Hey, you even have a neat little antenna. No, that's a tail, Stinky. We've all got one. Look. <laughs> <laughs> well, Warren, tell us a little about your family. I'd love to. I've even bought some pictures. You have? Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Let's see. Ah, here come the young twins, Wallace and Winky. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, thank you, Stinky. Warthogs aren't often called cute. And that there is their mother, my missus, Wilhelmina. Are those your only kids? Yes, we've only got the two right now. Most warthogs have between two and four young ones in each litter. 
Mom will feed them for about four months and they'll stay close to her until they're big enough to take care of themselves. Are there a lot of dangers in the wild for warthogs? There certainly are. Warthogs are hunted by lions, cheetahs, leopards and even wild dogs. Well, how exactly does a warthog protect itself? We have tusks and we're not afraid to use them. Mm. A warthog, especially one that's defending youngsters, is fearless. What do you mean? We'll charge any animal, no matter how big and ferocious, and that includes lions. When we get going, warthogs pack quite a wallop. Yeah. I prefer the running away and hiding method. Well, that can work too. And if a warthog senses danger, our first choice is to run and hide. Where do you hide? In a cave or a burrow. Hey, skunks live in burrows too. Well, then you'd love the brushland, Stinky. Warthogs are specialists at digging burrows. Really? Oh, yes. Our snads and tusks and strong front legs are perfect for digging a good-sized burrow for us and our kids. Well, Warren, I want to thank you for coming. Thanks, Warren. It's my pleasure. I'll see you in the brushlands. Bye. Uh, so long. Bye-bye. All right, well, Stinky, mm. now do you want to go to the brushlands? Well, I still have to think about it. Well, while you're thinking, let's all watch <gasps> Baby, Baby Dog. <laughs> I vote we have a nice, quiet day here in the sun. Quiet. Got you! Well, I've come to get you! That's what you think! Got you! Quick, move! Here he comes! You bet I'm coming and I'm gonna get you! Got you, got you, got you! Got you! Please be quiet. Oh, it, you know, that was... Stinky, what's with the mirror? Oh, I'm looking for warts. Warts? Why would you want warts? Well, so I could be in this next song. Oh. It's not what we wanted, it's not what we chose. Having these warts on the end of our nose. But very few animals have warts on their heads. This makes us distinguished, this makes us well-bred. Warts, warts, we've all got warts. We won't win a contest at beauty or sports. But let me assure you, it's hardly a sin having warts. If protuberances covering your skin. Toads in abundance, occasionally snakes, have warts on their skin, but that's hardly great shakes. The warthog, however, stands out from the crowd. In praise of his beauty, let's sing it out loud. Warts, warts, we've all got warts. We won't win a contest at beauty or sports, but let me assure you it's hard. Having warty protuberances covering your skin. I'm Rhonda Rath, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Sir. Uh, I'm a raccoon. I can see that. Can you answer a question? Which of the following animals is a threat to both warthogs and baboons? The butterfly? The bullfrog, the cheetah, or the leopard? Oh, well, the answer is raccoons. No, it's not. Goodbye. Sorry about that. The correct answer is the leopard. A leopard is a very efficient hunter that attacks both warthogs and baboons. Uh, what about raccoons? Not raccoons. Now go! Oh. Where was I? A leopard is an excellent hunter. Now the leopard has found where the warthog lives. And there is the warthog. Note how well the leopard is camouflaged in the tall grass. The leopard moves forward very slowly, keeping her body close to the ground. This is called stalking. Prey and predator watch each other's every move. 
until the warthog makes a run for it. The leopard gives chase, but the warthog gets away. This is Ronda Rat reporting on the leopard. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake.